All right, here's another example for uh, compaction, talking about uh, roller production here. So um, first things first, to figure this guy out, um, we're going to look at the equation 5.1 on page 131, and that's in chapter 5. And you'll see that uh, after reading through the problem, it's pretty self-explanatory once you have the equation. So we'll go ahead and put that out first. So the equation to start with is the compacted cubic yards per hour is equal to 16.3 W S L E all over N. And we'll go over what each of these means as we uh, kind of step back through the problem. So <clears throat> starting here, we're just going to make a quick table to keep track of things. W, S, L, E, and N. And then let's go back through the problem and try to figure out what some of these are. So W is going to be the compacted width per roller pass in feet. So compactor width is right here. It's a seven foot compacting width. Um, pretty easy. So that guy is going to be equal to seven. And luckily for us, all of the units in this problem are consistent with the units that are necessary. So W is in feet, S is in miles per hour, L is in inches, N is in is just a number. So everything works out with these units, but just be careful with that in case it comes up. All right, so next thing is S, which is the average roller speed in miles per hour. So average roller speed, if we come back in here, average speed four miles per hour. So that gives us this one, four. All right, moving on to L, which is a compacted lift thickness. So the lift thickness is right here, six inch lifts. So that is six. E is just our efficiency, which we've done before. Gives us right here a 50 minute hour efficiency. So that one is 50 over 60 or that equals 0 0.83. Okay, and then N is the number of lifts that we're using or the number of passes that it takes. And there's our answer right there, five. All right, so make sure when you're going through this, you read the question well, um, gather all these guys here, and we're gonna just go ahead and calculate the production. So the production here, is equal to 16.3 times 7 times 4 times 6 times 0 0.83 and we're going to divide all of that by 5. Alright, so you go ahead and do that and you're going to get 456.4 And again, just a reminder, um, make sure you try to work these out on your own and then go ahead and push pause when you need to, calculate it out, make sure you, any unit conversions you do, and then go ahead and push play and follow back along. So this is the production and it's in CCY, which is compacted um, cubic yards per hour. Okay, so that's the efficiency or the production of one of these rollers, these self-propelled tamping foot compactors um, per hour. Now if you go back and read the question, it says that we had four compactors available for this job and 
kind of gives it to us a little bit different. If the specs call for a total of 5,200 bank cubic yards to be compacted, how long would this job take? So this isn't the end here. This is a good uh, thing to have for the rest of it, but we got to move on. So first things first is that's per one dozer, and we have four. We're going to multiply that by four, and we get 1825.6. CCY per hour. Okay, so that's our production right there for all four acting at once. So what we need to do now is kind of find the time. Um, we can do this two ways. There's, there's two ways to get to the same answer. What I'm going to show is going ahead and taking what, the, what we need to do, this 5200 bank cubic yards, and we're going to convert that into uh, compacted cubic yards, and then just calculate from there. You can go the other way, you can convert this from compacted to bank, and calculate the same way. But just to show something a little different, we're going to go this way. So you can do a conversion here, so that we have uh, one compacted cubic yard, in this case, because we have a swell of 17%, 1.17 in bank state. So we end up with 44, 44.4, and this is compacted cubic yards that needs to be done. Okay, so just the final step here, um, if we want to find the time, that's going to equal um, the volume that we need to handle divided by the production. So that's going to equal this 44, 44.4 compacted cubic yards. And we're going to divide it by the production, which is 1825.6 compacted cubic yards per hour. So looking at the units, these guys cancel, this guy moves up, we get the answer, which I'll put down here, is 2.43, and the answer is in hours. There's our answer. So a little different uh, look at the same kind of problem. Again, it's just another um, product productivity style. All right. Thank you very much.